Hey guys, Sean Alley here. Welcome to 2019. That's right, today is January 5th, 2019. My first 2019 update from Universal Studios Hollywood. That's right, 2018 is done and over with. I kind of took a little bit of a break because I went on holiday, literally, because it was the Christmas season and I was kind of burned out because I've been doing so many videos, so it was nice to take a little break here and there. Sorry I wasn't really able to do a whole lot in terms of Grinch, because I know some of you probably wanted to see the Grinch and all that fun stuff with Whoville, but most of the time when that was happening, I was working, and plus, during the Christmas season, I was sick again. All right, let's get this update started by going into the park and then later on into City Walk. And by the way, this is gonna be a big update because something really cool is happening by the area near the Frankenstein parking structure. So we'll check that out a little later on. This will not be up on January 7th because the last day for all this Christmas stuff to be up and running will be on January 6th. Today and tomorrow, they're still celebrating the holidays. But after January 6th, all this stuff is coming down. All right, let's start this off with a bang. Lights, camera, action with all the poinsettias right there. <laughs> Walking down what I call the main street of Universal Studios Hollywood. Once again, still decorated for Christmas, but after the 6th, this is all coming down. It's funny because Grinchmas ended a few weeks ago, but they still have some decorations on the front, like you saw, that relate to Grinchmas, like the trees, for example. Those are left over from Grinchmas. This is where they had a lot of the Grinchmas merchandise, but as you can see, it's been taken over once again with Jurassic Park merchandise. Ooh, that's a pretty cool looking stein right there. RC gyrosphere, whoa. Now that's actually kind of cool. And here is Optimus Prime. It's a Universal Studios Hollywood exclusive product. Autobots, roll out. There's definitely a lot of blue here. Not just the Raptor, but I mean a lot of blue. Shark! So here are the wait times right now. Wow. Wow. These are a lot shorter than a few days ago. Because on January 3rd, it was packed to the max. Look at this. Studio Tours at a 10 minute wait. For the last several days, Forbidden Journey was at a 240 minute wait. I am seriously not joking. Over here at the Universal Plazas where they had the Hubilation or Grinchmas. The trees are still up, as you can see, and you got the whole Dr. Seuss look with the boxes there and the trees. That's where it was located, right there. And last I saw it, the tree was still up, but it looks like most of it's been taken, oh wow, it's actually almost all been taken down. <laughs> so a few days ago, they actually had the skeleton of the tree, and it looks like they've already taken down most of it. They may have already taken it down mostly through the night. So as you can see, they got New York Street all decked out with snow. Even the New Yorkers are having some fun down there. And this might be the last time I see Frosty here. So Frosty here has been meeting a lot of guests throughout the holiday season. Listen to this one here. Listen, are you, what are you covering up that's so precious? This may be the last time I'll be seeing SpongeBob and Patrick wearing all of their Christmas costumes. SpongeBob is dressed up as Santa Claus. Hey, SpongeBob! Patrick is a Christmas tree. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Did I forget to mention it's kind of cold today? Yeah, well, it's about to get even colder because we're heading into Hulksmade. Oh, there's a couple of humble villagers over there. What's up, you guys? As you can see, the snow is here 24-7, 365 days throughout the entire year. It never melts. Magic. Today and tomorrow will be the last opportunities to check out the magic of Christmas at Hogwarts Castle. Tomorrow being January 6th. So by the time you're watching this video, it's probably already done and over with. Out here by the front of Studio Tour. As you can see, it's still a 10 minute wait, but I came out here to check out the lights out here. Lights are on, as you can see. All Christmas themed. Check out these plants, especially these poinsettias. Oh my goodness. These look amazing, as usual. Along the stairway here, where the escalators by Studio Tour, they got all these Christmas decorations here as well. As we look down towards the entrance, you can see they have some down there too. 
along the walkway, they also have these snowflake-like lights all along the sides here. Oh yeah, there's Hogwarts right there. And there it is, the studio tour. Heading out for a nice, awesome tour of the Universal Backlot. So once again, the area of Springfield and the Simpsons ride didn't get any makeovers or really anything in general for Christmas. No decorations, no Christmas trees, no nothing. Which is very surprising to me because most of Universal has been decorated for Christmas, but not a single piece of Christmas merchandise, not even the characters were dressed up in Christmas clothes, nothing, really. So, Simpsons, you gotta step up your game here. <laughs> Maybe it's because of licensing, or, I don't know, something in the contract. That doesn't count, by the way, because that's the lower lot. In fact, it's the same design as the Studio Tour sign all the way down there. So, that right there, that doesn't count, because that's not part of Springfield. That's just going towards the lower lot. Well, guess what, folks? <laughs> it started raining. It's raining right now. Oh my gosh, it is raining quite heavily right now. Oh my gosh, look at this puddle of water right here. Oh my goodness. So here's a view right now on the lower lot. You see all the fog has rolled in. It is getting really cold out here. So I am wearing thermal. I got the sweatshirt on right now, but it's still pretty chilly. The water's just going right through it. I knew it was going to rain, sort of, but we didn't know as to when. Well, as you can see, it's been raining quite a bit now. I had to take shelter over at Krusty Burger because it was actually coming down a little hard. I mean, it's kind of slowed down a little bit, but it's still, still raining. All right, so for the sake of being able to get down to the lower lot and still getting rained on, I'm just gonna get shots of what's going on on the lower lot from up here. As you can see, there is, whoops, we got a little bit of water coming down there. There's the construction work going on right now for whatever's gonna be down there. Obviously, I think we could all guess what that's gonna be. Over here is gonna be Jurassic World. As you can see down there, the sign for Jurassic Park has been removed. It's been down for probably several weeks now. They are still working on this section here. I don't know exactly what they're doing, probably just refurbishing it. There's the front where the rafts will be going into the actual ride itself. It looks like they're building a whole new facade right there. It looks like it's going to be an interior section, so that's going to be pretty cool. It's not going to be the plants that we're normally used to. I don't think there's going to be any characters out. Oh, there's a Christmas tree down there. I see it right now. There's a Christmas tree down there. Everybody's taking shelter now because, yeah, it's raining, obviously. Nothing happening much down here for the lower lot except for just Transformers and the Mummy. But we got this going on. So that's pretty much it for construction work going on down the lower lot. It looks like there's a new section. Oh, I didn't see that. Right there. That You can actually see that section on the studio tour, if I remember correctly. So it looks like the part where you're going into the ride as you go up that one lift right there is all going to be interior, it looks like. Interesting. Look how dark the clouds are just beyond the Plaza Grill. Yikes. Those look menacing. Yikes. Well, since it's somewhat dark, you can actually see the lights on now. Kind of nice that I can see them because, you know, you won't be able to see these again after next week because they'll be taking all the Christmas lights down as well as all the Christmas decorations. So, I'm actually kind of happy that we can see these before we head out. Oh, there's actually one other place I want to show you guys that's been receiving a lot of construction work. It's by Despicable Me. Since our last update, a lot, and I do mean a lot, has changed. How much construction work? Well, here's an idea. Look at that. Oh, I'm walking in <laughs> large puddles of water right now. Look at that. That is amazing. Remember last time when the Globe Theater was here? Yep. This is a huge building. Of course, this is all be forced perspective, but still, this is gonna be big. I'm wondering if this is gonna be a queue right here because of this section right here. 
But yeah, I'm guessing this is about three stories tall. I want to keep an eye on this section right here that's facing towards Despicable Me, Many a Mayhem, just the way it looks. So my guess is that if this is going to be the right, I think it's going to be, this is going to have some sort of a border or skyline that's going to somewhat match this over here because they're going to probably turn this into a neighborhood, like a, like a New York Street type feel. So I'm going to keep an eye on this section here because I think this is going to be at least a border for some sort of like structure, maybe several structures. So that has me very, very interested right here. This right here, as you all know, is supposed to be a neighborhood next to Gru's house. Here we have the minions and we got the residents here. Although it is funny because Gru's house, he has all yellow in terms of trees and the lights here. But the others, we have blue, red, and green. So, makes sense. Oh yeah, and the house next door has purple. <laughs> but anyways, this is from the side by the neighborhood. So I'm wondering if maybe this will have shops? I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna have shops or what, but this is obviously gonna have some sort of pedestrian feel, obviously. Because you have these here, which they could extend, I do not know. It'd be kind of cool if they did, or add something else here. But this building is going all the way back, so something else has got to go here. This is either going to be for employees or pedestrian walking, or I should I say guest walking. Nothing has been confirmed here, okay? People are saying, seek a life of pets. People are saying, oh, it's going to be maybe how to train your dragon. Well, that would make sense. But the only problem is that that's DreamWorks. That's not Illumination because, as we all know, this we will meet is Illumination. So if it was the Secret Life of Pets or something from Illumination, it would be placed here instead of over by where DreamWorks is because DreamWorks has their DreamWorks Theater. They would rather make this into Illumination land, right? So I'm guessing that this is going to have something to do with Illumination, like maybe Secret Life of Pets, which everybody has been rumoring for the last several years. So nothing has officially been confirmed, okay? We haven't been told anything. I haven't been told anything. I'm just spitting out rumors, okay? Until something is officially confirmed, everything I've been hearing is just rumors. Nothing is set in stone. Same thing is true with the construction work down there, although we have some feeling it might be Super Nintendo Land. We obviously know that Jurassic World is being built down there because it was Jurassic Park at the time. But this, it would make sense if it was relating to Illumination or Secret Life of Pets because it's right next door to Despicable Me. So all I'm saying is that everything that I've been mentioning is just rumors. This could be a restaurant for all I care. It's too big for a restaurant unless it was going to be something as grand as maybe be our guest restaurant over in Walt Disney World, the Magic Kingdom. But I doubt it's going to be that. This might have a restaurant in it because it is a gigantic building. I will say that. It might also include a gift shop because, you know, with every ride you have a gift shop, right? So they're probably going to have something here too. I don't know. <laughs> as I said, rumors. The rumor weed is spreading. It's spreading like a weed. So, there you go. That's a VeggieTales reference. Larry Boy. Before I forget, here are the purple trees and the bushes and the wreath. I wanted to come back here and get a good shot of this. Just get a bigger perspective here. And also get a thumbnail for my sub thumbnail for the major thumbnail I'll be working on. So, there it is right there. And here's what the construction looks like from the other side by Frankenstein Parker Structure. I actually recorded that before it started raining. Here it is. Here's what it looks like from the Frankenstein Parking Structure. A lot has changed. They have these pieces of tarp up here because they don't want any of the leaves to go flying off into the construction area, so they have to cover up the trees here a little bit. Check it out, the Wesley World of Harry Potter section here in the Universal Studio Store. They started selling the Lego sets. That is awesome. That one has the Whomping Willow right there. Oh, this is a cool one, the Hogwarts Express, nine and three quarters. 801 pieces. <laughs> Gotta add that extra piece in there to make it 801. <laughs> wow, look at this one. This is a great hall right there. 
So here's the vehicle that was used in the Mummy, the 1931 Dusenberg Model J, actual picture car. It's cool they have it out here in the front, and look at this. It's got a wreath right here in the front. It's got lights on it too, but I don't know if they light up, but that's cool. So there it is, the display for the school uniforms for Hogwarts. Where's Hufflepuff? <laughs> they, they're missing Hufflepuff, oh well. Anyways, they got Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Gryffindor. And by the way, it does snow in there. It won't be snowing in a little while. Heading down to the exit right now. Uh, I'm gonna miss this because it's always so pretty out here with all their Christmas decorations and all the different displays here. And there it is. All right, folks, we're heading into City Walk now. So, we're heading out. Thankfully the rain has stopped, but my gosh, the ground is slippery at this time. Not a whole lot's really been happening in City Walk, although we did miss out on the dismantling of the Christmas tree because literally the day after Christmas they started tearing down the tree I'm seriously not joking so literally I was there on Christmas Day I saw the tree all lit up in all its Christmas glory I returned the next day and they were already halfway done in terms of taking down all the branches and all the stuff it was just basically a skeleton so <laughs> I was like, holy smokes. So yes, even though Grinchmas is done, they still have the advertisements up here at the Universal Studio Store here in CityWalk. There he is, the Grinch. They actually replaced these when Grinchmas first started this year, or should I say last year now, now it's 2019. He's back, well, now he's gone. Not until next year. Happy holidays! So there's the Grinch once more. Oh, check this out. That's new. Well, this shop closed. I think this was the, the skateboarding store. Yeah, it is. Wow, that's gone. I believe this is where they had the GoPro stuff. Yeah, so this is gone, unfortunately. Okay, so I guess we do have some interesting things to check out here in City Walk. This was open, I think, yesterday, but I guess that was their last day. Wow. All right, well, new retail concept coming soon, so I'll have to check in on that and see what happens later on this, in the weeks to come. Currently at City Loft now, there's Johnny Rockets, there's Oni Romas, I mean Tony Romas, or, hold on, there was Oni Roms. <laughs> we also have the restaurant that's being built over here on the left, or to my right actually. Bubblegum shrimp. It's pretty quiet out here right now in City Walk, sort of. Oh, check it out. They got the Grinch. He's still up there. It's already been like almost two months. November 9th, well, <laughs> not anymore unless they're saying, oh, it's coming out this November 2019. Nope, it's already happened. So here we have Liam Neeson in Cold Pursuit. And at first I'm like, oh, this is kind of a bland kind of poster, but then I'm like, oh, looks like it takes place in the snow. So I can see that makes sense because it's cold. Okay, I can see that happening. Then we have Glass, James McAvoy, Bruce Willis, and Samuel L. Jackson. By the way, James McAvoy, if you guys remember him, he, yes, he's in the X-Men films, but one of his earlier roles was as Mr. Tumnus in The Lion, the Witch, of the Wardrobe. Then we have The Upside with Kevin Hart and Brian Cranston and Nicole Kidman. Brian Cranston, we all know, is from Malcolm in the Middle. And if you guys saw the recent Power Rangers film, he was Zordon. Then we have the Lego movie, the second part. That's a sequel to the first Lego movie. I saw the first one, it was pretty funny. I haven't seen the Batman Lego movie, but I probably will at some point. Then we have the kid who would be king. I'm kind of skeptical about this one, but looks interesting. Looks interesting. And then we have What Men Want. And she's holding two base balls. <clears throat> yeah. Crude humor, guys. I apologize, but that is definitely not a film I'll probably be seeing. Get headed to Things Another World for just a second. Oh, by the way, yesterday I went to Munchies, and it's very much like Yogurtland. Very, very similar concept. 
you have the little tiny little cups that you can sample flavors with. Similar design, similar look. It's a cute shop though.